Uh, we're going to do a quick video on a 2004 Chevy Impala. I apologize in advance for the noise. Kind of a high traffic location, but uh, basically this car popped a P0455 code, which is an EVAP system large leak. Uh, it's a number of things you can look at on large leaks. A gas cap can be an issue generally for large leaks. Unless the gap caps, gas cap's missing or wasn't screwed on tight at all, uh, it's potentially, you know, it, it likely not. One of the known fail points on these things is the vent valve. So what we're going to do before we start replacing parts off handily is we're going to take the vent valve off and give it a test. So we'll cover that here as we go forward. All right, if you look under and behind the rear well, uh, the rear wheel well on these cars, you'll find this device here. This is the canister attached to it is the solenoid valve. So we're going to remove it first and see if that may be what failed. To remove it, there is a 10 millimeter bolt here and this bracket clips on once that 10 millimeters out. Um, one thing you always want to look at when you first evaluate a large leak is can you locate other areas where it might be leaking. You want to check hoses, tubes, you want to check and make sure that in fact the gas cap is there and it is reasonably tight. Um, but again, we don't want to just go replacing parts even though it's something as small as a gas cap. Uh, we really want to troubleshoot it and get it to work right first time out. So we're going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here on the edge of the screen. And then we're going to drop this whole thing down. Now to get it out of there, we're going to have to unplug the electrical outlet is connected to it um, that we've already disconnected disconnected the battery so we're all good there uh, so that electrical plugs electrical connectors out of the way now just one 10 millimeter and we'll drop it down now if we have trouble getting this hose away and we might we're not sure yet um, we'll probably be able to drop it down and disconnect this hose if not there's another 10 millimeter further back that holds that hose up against the frame but I don't think we're going to need to access that so let's see if we can get it out of here okay so we have it loose and you can see it'll come right on down and it'll knock dirt all over you um, so now we're going to disconnect uh, let's see if I can show you even though the camera is a little dirty now we're going to disconnect uh, this hose clamp right here uh, I apologize, I'm having trouble getting this thing to work. But then again, you can't see very well anyway. Uh, this hose clamp is going to be disconnected, then this hose will be removed, and the whole unit will be out. And then we're going to bench it and test it, so we'll get back with you when we get it on the bench. Now we've got the vent valve on the, on the table. We can take a better look at it. Uh, what I've done is uh, I've hooked up the vent valve here with uh, two alligator clip wires going back to my my uh, jump box which will give me 12 volt supply and I can pretty much tell you right off it looks like it's fine um, if I turn it on probably can hear that engaging we can check it with a little air um, you want to be careful with these wires here obviously you don't want them to touch but uh, so we put a little air through it Here close, air stops except for what's leaking around the nozzle here. And you let go. So um, the valve is closing, which is good. Um, opening and closing. It's normally open, so without power it's open. When you engage power, it closes. So that's not the case. Next thing we're going to check is the purge valve that purges uh, vapors into the ignition system or into the uh, intake system rather on the engine and see if that's the case now look one thing you could do is you could just start changing parts um, it's what a lot of people do you know I'm trying to change my old ways and and not just be a part swapper but be a diagnoser of these problems so we've eliminated this this is a known concern for this car is the reason I started here um, I don't have a way of testing the whole system like a smoke tester uh, which some people might would certainly use if I had one I would use it and it would immediately tell me probably which the problem is but uh, there's a real quick way also of checking the purge valve 
without even having to just take it off the car. And so we'll check the purge valve next and see if that's the issue. Uh, once again, apologies for the noise. Um, we reinstalled the purge valve and we opened up the hood. We we're going to look at the vent valve next. And uh, well, it's pretty apparent now. Uh, regretful that we pulled the purge valve, but I'll show you what we found. Uh, we're looking for the purge valve itself. It's sitting right here uh, on this 3.8 liter. What we found was this hose was not connected. Um, this hose should should connect on right here, <clears throat> and uh, it was sitting down here. So uh, got to looking at it, and this is a press type connection with uh, two wings that that hold it locked on, and it's broken. So we're going to have to try to see if we can find a connector from the dealer maybe, uh, or an aftermarket connector that will let us hook this back up permanently in the short run. We're going to hook it back up and hope it latches. We're going to reset the code and then we're going to uh, give it a test drive over the next few days, weeks, and see, make sure that that doesn't come back on. Ultimately, we do need to fix that connector or at some point the same thing's going to happen. So look, point of the video really, they tell you it's a gas cap. Don't just go buy a gas cap, troubleshoot the system, look at the parts, not regretful that we took off the purge valve. Uh, didn't take but a, uh, excuse me the vent valve and the canister didn't take but a second or two to do we test it we know it's good and then we found the problem here so uh, don't just assume simple things like uh, like a gas cap's going to fix it because once you reset it you've got to go through a number of cycles before it pops again and then you've got to start all over again so take your time don't be a part swapper uh, troubleshoot the problem i uh, hope this is helpful to somebody thanks bye bye I guess one last thing. I was going to show you how I would have ultimately, how I would have ultimately tested this uh, purge valve to see if it's failed. What we would have done was we would have used a, a vacuum gauge and a vacuum hose, and we would have hooked it right here where this line's disconnected. And then we would have started the car. That's fine. We would have started the car to see if we develop pressure. So we're going to start the car now, and or vacuum it, and we're going to see. Uh, one thing these things, one thing these things can do, is they can leak by, and when they leak by, uh, they will uh, can cause you a small or large leak, depending on how bad they leak by. Uh, this one's not leaking, which is great. Uh, these things do operate normally open, excuse me, normally closed. So right now it's in the closed mode, and we're not leaking by. So the valve appears to be good, and as we saw, the disconnected hose is reason enough to pop the code. So there you go. That's what we're doing.